Can type 1, type 2 diabetes mellitus and glucose be reversed? Due to many health issues as we age, our bodies can make enough insulin to control blood sugar levels for some of us. It is referred to as insulin resistance. Bad reactive surgery for the overly obese is producing impressive results in reversing diabetes. It is being reported that after the surgery, many patients don't need insulin by the day they leave the hospital. But not all obese people get diabetes. In fact, a third of normal weight people are at high risk of developing disease. Yeah, the skinny people, the people that look like they're in perfect health and not overweight. In fact, not even obese, just not, not even overweight are at high risk for diabetes. The main symptoms of diabetes is excessive thirst, blurred vision, a rapid weight loss, a smell of ketone on the breath, uh, nausea, vomiting, and one of the pure signs is excessive urination, uh, respiratory deep and labored breathing pattern. All these are signs of uh, diabetes and or pre-diabetes. So keep your eyes open for that. What can you do? The drug metformin along with making diet changes, increasing exercising 150 minutes a week and losing about 7% of body weight can prevent or delay type 2 diabetes if you are at high risk. Exercise for health because you don't lose weight by exercising alone. You know, if you go on a treadmill for half an hour, you might lose about 200 calories. You have something to eat after that, and it might be 250 calories. So uh, exercise to control your blood sugar, exercise for health to put the blood in, uh, pumping in your system, to increase your, uh, uh, decrease your depression and increase your mood. Uh, steps to prevent diabetes, one, watch your weight. The easiest way is to start by cutting calories and getting more active. Two, make healthy food choices. Limit the amount of fat you eat and by eating more fruits, vegetables, and fiber. Now, in the low carb diet, we're talking about healthy fats, increasing healthy fats, and decreasing the unhealthy fats like trans fat. Add more fiber. You know, we recommend drinking Metamucil in the morning, two tablespoons with a full glass of water. Uh, adds a lot of fiber to your diet. Four, be active. When you're active, your body uses glucose. The more active you are, the more glucose your body uses for energy. It keeps the sugar from building up in your blood. Again, the reason for exercising is to decrease the, the level of sugar in your blood. Of course, five, if you smoke, quit. How many times do we have to tell you that? Six, keep blood pressure and cholesterol under control. And the way you do that is by exercising and keeping your weight down. So exercise to keep your blood sugar and cholesterol levels under control. Exercising the risk of diabetes. Decrease the risk of developing diabetes by 15% in those with high risk defined as high blood pressure, family history, and obesity. As you can see in this chart, the more you exercise during the week, and it's only a half an hour a day, make sure you do something as simple as walking or go out for a bike ride, but get your body in moving. You know, as that uh, Disney cartoon said, move it, move it, move it. Diabetes can be brought on by generic as well as lifestyle choices. You need to understand that carbohydrates are the major cause of diabetes due to the body's response to our overconsumption of starchy foods such as pasta, bread, and potatoes. Avoid drinking your calories in the form of regular soda, fruit drinks, and other sugary drinks. Your goal should be keep your consumption of carbohydrates to less than 100 grams per day. You can control your risk of diabetes by controlling what goes into your body. Look at the chart here. You can control diabetes with a healthy lifestyle, proper nutrition, and support. And support is make sure you go to your doctor, make sure you keep tabs on your sugar levels. Now look at this chart about a day of beverages. 1,370 calories, don't 
drink your calories. An orange juice to start your day, which I just said if you treadmill for half an hour and then had a glass of orange juice, just an eight ounce, which is really half a glass, is 110 calories. If you go to Starbucks and get a mocha uh, medium cappuccino, it's 400 calories just for that. A regular soda, 20 ounce, 280 calories. A fruit drink, 230 calories. You think you're having something healthy, but in reality, you're having something very unhealthy. A sweet tea, a 16 ounce sweet tea is 200 calories. And here's the, the beer belly, 150 calories for one 12 ounce uh, uh, drink of beer. So over the course of a day, starting early to the late night, you consume, you could consume 1,307 calories, and you wonder how did you get to be so heavy? Go to johnbar.com to subscribe and get your 10-page free weight loss report. Please share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, subscribe to johnbar.com. Go to SaturdayDiet.com to learn about our low-cost weight loss packages. These packages, are we have redesigned them. We've added a lot more features. Go over and see about our new program. Okay, we'll see you on the next video. Wish you the best. And don't drink your calories and watch those carbohydrates. Bye-bye.